So that I think we're there. So I think that Ron, I want to send Ron's point around the table. Ron, if I can paraphrase your comment, you want to repeal completely Section I. Yeah. All right. Um, who wants to comment on that? I don't think we should. I, I think we, I, I don't think we should only because by leaving it in a, as it's written, no. But I don't think we can remove it because by leaving it in, we also make the lit signs and all that stuff that we don't allow applicable to it. I mean, you're I, not gonna. It, I just, I just don't want to see um, neon like signs. The, the neon, neon signs. Oh, I don't want to see now. that nobody's gonna put up a neon political sign for it. <laughs> well, don't say nobody. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, 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 not yet. <laughs> not, not today. <laughs> Can I lose? I mean, I mean, maybe limit the, the town would size of the sign. Maybe limit the individual can... size of the sign to like 32 square feet, one sheet of, I mean, a sheet of plaque, not as the aggregate, but for an individual sign. I'm just throwing ideas out here. But, um, well, we can take it several ways, but but. Um, in you are asking about our opinions going around. Can I, I want to see? Yeah, I want to come back to you on the numbers, okay? I, Bob, the, the position on the floor is to repeal section, subsection I. No. And from my point of view, I think that, that some form of section I needs to remain here. I, I think it's 12 square feet is, is, is too little for reasons which uh, probably Sean uh, enlightened us a number of months ago, that, and, and Ron and, and others too that a number of political candidates might be disenfranchised just by that number 12 because we all know how big signs are. However, I think that the language developed by the attorneys is adequate to protect us from the issues that Ron is concerned about and the liability that Ron's concerned about because that's why they wrote it, to obviate the necessity for a lawsuit. Martin, I have what to interject it? on this because you're contradicting what our own town attorney said. He wrote this. I'm telling can, can, No, you can't. can't. Let's, let what Teddy, he said. let's let keep, keep to the order of things, please. Well, I'd like to see the political sign out here too, but I don't see how you're going to do it. Still have a, um, a handle on this. I think somewhere down the line we're going to go with the signs. The numbers, the signs on the property doesn't bother you, provided all different candidates on it. I don't know how we're going to do this. But what I thought I heard you say is a, a maximum size per candidate. Yes. Never mind the number of candidates. I thought that's what you said. Yeah, and they can have as many candidates on as run. Absolutely. I think that's otherwise you disenfranchise the people. Mm -hmm. May I go? If Teddy's finished. Good. Um, legal opinion. June 14th, 2011. Richard Roberts, this was the one, just for background, this is the one we went to Freedom of Information on. Uh, last line of the second paragraph, the commission may want to review the Mansfield example, meaning Mansfield, Connecticut, of which they eliminated, eliminated all restrictions on political signs. That's my commentary. Um, example of that I have provided as an alternative approach to this matter. Um, so that uh, there's some contradiction there. In addition to it, uh, well, I'm not, can you point out where the contradiction is? Because I can't see it. Uh, he is advising us to look at getting by saying review the Mansfield's ex Mansfield example, yes. which means get rid of regulations on political signs. Yes. He's saying you should look at getting rid of regulations on political signs. Period. That's what this statement says. Yes, oh. but that's not in conflict. That's exactly what we're doing tonight. No, we're well, no, no, at not in this rig. We're looking at getting rid of them. But as a matter of information, in the town of Mansfield, Connecticut, it's where UConn is. The lady who introduced that is a um, libertarian, and fought specifically to have that. And the town of Mansfield took this in two steps. The first step, they said, well, we'll leave it on the books, but we won't enforce it. So the American Civil Liberties Union said that they would sue. And they said to themselves, we just don't want to be sued. We think you're wrong, but we don't want, we're just going to do what they said, repeal the act and move on. That's the background of Mansfield. I have more information. And, and I talked to 
and I'm drawing a blank, the uh, McGuire is his last name, uh, who's the chief. This I did this back last September. And his urging was to remove restrictions on political signs. I can't think of his Who is he, though? He's the chief legal counsel for the ACLU of Connecticut. Oh, his oh, name's oh, McGuire. Oh. All right. Uh, I don't remember his first name. I'm having a, I won't say a senior moment. I'm not old enough. Uh, I also went through the trouble, which I'd like to have put in the record, to contact a former uh, attorney general candidate, Martha Dean. And she was kind enough to put a letter together. Uh, I'd like to read it in the record because... You know what? I, I'm going to say this because I think you have an extremely valid point. You've obviously done a lot of work. But this is a workshop on the sign. I think the right place to put that in the record would be during, the, 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 during a public, regular meeting on the sign. Well, I have copies of it, and I wanted, I'd like us to read it before we go to a public hearing instead of doing what we usually Why do. Why don't you give it to I'm staff gonna, who will circulate? I will be glad to do that. Thank My you. commentary on the signs is we have been told over and over again we are messing with free speech, and when we start playing with size of signs, any of this stuff, we cause a problem. It's free speech. We should remove the restriction, and Chuck's point about neon signs is legitimate, and I think it can be addressed or already is addressed in another section. It's already addressed, so we can't put neon signs Just in Just so we, uh, we're on the same remove page. My, my, opinion, my, sure. consent, my personal opinion is we should get rid of this 7105. 7510i completely. All right. Just so we're on the same page. With respect, Sean, it's not and never has been about free speech. It's about discrimination, which is equal protection under the law, which is a different section in the Constitution. You may not treat someone differently than you treat everybody else. It's that section of the Constitution. It's not free speech. So, well, that's a discussion for a public hearing. I'm not going to continue that, but you asked a consensus. We haven't gotten to John yet, which I'm sure he has well, something. We haven't got to Jerry yet. Um, well, I agree. I think you need to. I think you need to eliminate that. I think that there's provisions in there. You know, we're concerned about neon signs. I think Chuck. I think your comments are certainly well taken. That you know, you need to have some sort of um, um, you know uh, regulation in there. But I think your your regulations address the you know the the fact that. We're not going to have neon signs out there flashing. I, I, I well, we already that. have that in the, in the code. Right, I, and that's what I'm saying. So I, I would say delete, delete it. Okay. What about lighted signs? Well, uh, one thing Sorry, about, okay. what, what, did, what did you say? What did you say? Sorry. What about lighted signs? Yeah. So the issue is still on the table is repeal some such high. I'm asking you. Okay. I, I would prefer to see that uh, political signs. Um, as a class eliminated. Um, I don't think we get anywhere by having political signs as a separate class any more than religious signs would be a separate class. We don't want to mess with those. I think that we should uh, put an overall limit on any sort of sign. If you imagine somebody building a wind mill in their backyard. Um, I don't want them to put up a 64 square feet sign saying long live America or any other unexceptional message like that any more than I want to see them saying, you know, buy Bonanza French fries. Uh, the problem is not the message, the problem is simply the size and the nature of the sign itself. So I think we should do much better by having a proper overall sign regulation. If we get down to counting numbers of candidates, we need to make sure we're consistent with the regulations relating to one per contractor or multiple occupation uh, buildings where it's one per business or something like that. We need to have that sort of consistency throughout the thing. I think we do have that and sort of no consistency. And no flexibility. I think it's we have that already. We have one sign per business. We have one sign per contractor. We have one sign. We, we're now suggesting one sign per contractor. Why do you think that's inconsistent? No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm not saying it's inconsistent, Martin. I'm saying we need to be very careful to make sure that we are consistent. Right, well, and it's second. probably better to have it done as a general rule for all the signs rather than 
trying to uh, trying to list them as all discriminatory signs, because as soon as you label something a political if sign, I, you run into a whole lot of If I may just ask a question, Martin. Um, Can we change in, in, that tape before you ask? All right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Water. Yeah. Water bathroom.